Hey guys, it's Peter here. Uh, I just wanted to bring you a uh, gameplay of uh, Black Ops 1. I was playing it today just for old time's sake, and uh, I got a few decent games, and this is one of them. Uh, I think I go like 30 and 8 in this game. Um, but yeah, uh, today I just wanted to talk about Call of Duty Ghosts and previous Call of Duties and some things that I think they should keep in from previous Call of Duties or bring back from previous Call of Duties and some things that I think they should definitely get rid of. The first thing I think they should get rid of, and I know this is more of a Treyarch thing than an Infinity Ward thing, uh, is Flak Jacket. That's something that I definitely want them to get rid of in Ghosts, or in the next Treyarch game that they make. Um, another thing that I would like to see in Ghosts that was in Modern Warfare 3 is the uh, survival mode. Because even though Infinity Ward obviously doesn't have zombies, they had survival mode, which was a pretty fun substitute while we were waiting for Black Ops 2 to come out and for zombies to return. I, I don't know what I'm doing here with this barrel. Uh, but yeah, so I, I had a lot of fun with survival mode, and chaos mode also, and uh, spec ops, which was in since Modern Warfare 2, that's pretty fun also. So yeah, I'm, they probably will keep that in, just because people like that, I think, so hopefully they do, because that was fun. Um, another thing that I wonder why it's not in COD anymore is tanks. They were in World at War, and they were really fun to use, and I got some insane kill streaks with them sometimes. And I don't know why they haven't kept them in. Like that's the one that's one of the main advantages Battlefield has on Call of Duty right now, is that Battlefield has tanks and other vehicles, and Call of Duty has no vehicles at all. So uh yeah. I'd like to see tanks back in the game. I'd also like to see I guess flamethrowers, but not the Black Ops 1 flamethrowers, because those ones were under barrel, those ones were annoying. I'd like to see a secondary flamethrower, like the ones in World at War, because those ones were really fun to use. Um, yeah, sorry about all this, uh, the little, like, uh, play bar on the bottom of the screen, I don't know how to get rid of that. Oh, wait, is it L3? Okay, yeah, never mind. Okay, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, another feature of COD that I hope they take out is, uh, or, no, wait, hang on, I'm, I'm trying to think what I was going to say here. Another feature that I hope they keep in, ah, oh, jeez, I'm completely blanking out on one of, what I wanted to say here. I hope they keep out is Final Stand, obviously, because they took it out in Black Ops 2. Hopefully, Infinity Ward will do the same and keep it out of, uh, Ghosts. Um, another thing that would be cool to see is... A uh, game ending kill streak, like a nuke or a Moab. I'm assuming they're going to do that since they've done that the last two Infinity Ward games, but I'd like it to be more like the Moab than the nuke. Or no, actually, I'd like it. Sorry, I had to reach across to get my phone. I'd like it to be more like a combination of the nuke and the Moab. Moab. The Moab. What am I talking about? Um, because the Moab. Uh, it didn't end the game, but it was automatically on your uh, in your loadout. Whatever kill streaks you had, you just had to get a 25 kill streak. I'd like that, and I'd also like it to end the game like a tactical, a tactical nuke. Because in Modern Warfare 2, you had to put a tactical nuke as your kill streak to even be able to get it. You could get a 25 kill streak and not have a tactical nuke equipped, and then you wouldn't get it. But yeah, um, hang on, let me just uh, look at the play bar, see how long I have. I just got hit right in the face with that Valkyrie. Okay, I have a while to talk. But yeah, um, I'd like it to be so that you don't have to equip it, because that's putting a tremendous amount of faith and pressure on yourself when you equip a tactical nuke as your kill streak. It's like, do I really think I can get a 25 kill streak here and get a tactical nuke? But yeah, uh, on an unrelated note, I, I just unlocked the Spectre, because I don't, I haven't, I didn't play Black Ops One much, and I'm, st I'm not like prestige or anything. I'm like level 42, I think, right now. But I just unlocked the Spectre, and I'm, I'm, I, I figured it was bad, just because I play more zombies in this game than multiplayer, and it's really bad in zombies. So I just assumed, look at that guy camping. I just assumed it was going to be bad, but then I started using it. And I'm like, wow, this is actually really good. Anyway, I'd like it to be a non-equipped kill streak that's just there as a bonus, and it also ends the game. Because I like the Moabs, but I didn't like how you didn't win the game from it, and you also had to deal with the annoying like uh, red filter over the screen the rest of the game. So yeah, I'd, I'd like something like a combination of the two. Um, also, I think they're going to do this, but I'd like more interactive maps also. Maps that have terrain destruction that is available. Like, I think the Freefall map that you get if you pre-order it has is going to have some of that. 
Like, that's what it sounded like when they were talking about it. Um, but yeah, I'd also like more terrain destruction. Like, in Battlefield 3, again, you can take a tank, shoot an artillery around at a wall, and just blow up the whole wall. I'd like to see more of that in Call of Duty, because, like, there's things in this game that are such crap sometimes. Like, you're shooting through, like, a cardboard box, and it can't get through it to kill the guy. And then there's other... that. Oh, another thing that I want them to take out. Sorry to go off task or off topic here, but another thing that I should definitely take out is target finder. Target finders are so annoying because I just get killed by target finders so much. Like there's even a clip from like a KYR Speedy video where a guy with a target finder on an LSAT sprays through two houses on Nuketown and kills them across the map. They need to do. They need to get rid of target finders and they need to get rid of uh, the like extremely overpowered like bullet penetration of LMGs. Like I like LMGs. LMGs are fun to use, but when they have that much bullet penetration, that can, they can shoot through like what what would that be? Like four walls through two houses? That would be that that's just too overpowered. Like even with like a 50 caliber bullet, you probably couldn't shoot through four walls like of a normal house. And if you did, it definitely, it definitely wouldn't be, have enough power to kill the person. It would be much slowed down. Um, but yeah, back to the maps. Um, another thing with the maps I think would be cool. Terrain destruction and more like interactive elements. Like I was playing on radiation in this game before. And radiation has the little button where you can control the doors. And I know that's not much, but that's just kind of a cool thing to, uh, to have. So that like like that's just fun to have, and then other things that interact with the map, like on launch, there's the rocket that launches. Um, on uh, downhill, this is kind of annoying, but the ski lifts that can kill you, I I I kind of hate those, but I I guess it's a cool thing that they have a moving element in the map. Same with the train on express and the uh, the water on hydro. Like they're doing some of it in Black Ops too. I just want them to do more interactivity with the map and like varied like terrain destruction and stuff like that um so yeah uh if you guys have anything you would like to see in black ops 2 that or black ops 2 uh ghosts that is not has been implemented in previous games or t and taken out or things that you wouldn't like to see that you want to be taken out or just new ideas that haven't been in any CODs before but you think they would be fun to be in uh, Call of Duty, leave them in the comments. And uh, if you want more uh, gameplays like this, commentaries over gameplays like this, uh, I'll try to not be a noob and get some good gameplays for you and record them. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, there's still like a minute left of this gameplay so uh, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.